In this video we're diving into a topic called dyslexia. Maybe some of you have heard of it. It's a common learning difference, and just like how some of us might find certain things tricky, for those with dyslexia, reading, writing, and spelling can be a challenge. But don't be mistaken, it has nothing to do with intelligence. In fact, people with dyslexia can be really smart. It's estimated up to one in every 10 people in the UK has some degree of dyslexia. If you're wondering how you can recognize if someone might have dyslexia, there are a few things you might notice. They could have handwriting that seems a bit messy, or maybe they find it hard to read out loud. Sometimes they might mix up the big and little versions of letters. When they write, they might seem to wander off topic or maybe they struggle to organize their homework. Expressing themselves in writing can also be a bit harder for them, even though verbally they are very articulate. And, they might occasionally mix up their lefts and rights. But remember, you can only be diagnosed with dyslexia after completing a diagnosis assessment with a trained specialist. You may have some of these struggles yourself but that doesn't mean that you are dyslexic. The great part is, there are many ways we can help our friends with dyslexia. For starters, in school they may be given a bit of extra time during exams, which can make a world of difference and give them the chance to show off all they know. You might also notice some of them using coloured papers or special overlays. That's because it can make reading a lot easier for them. There's also some super cool technology, like immersive readers or a reader pen, that can assist them in understanding texts. And sometimes, a helping hand with reading can be really beneficial. Knowing about dyslexia is one thing, but being a good friend to someone with dyslexia is another. It's essential not to jump to conclusions about their intelligence. If they forget something, a gentle reminder can be helpful. If they are using special tools or materials, it's just another way they are navigating the world, and it's totally cool. It's also helpful to be patient with them. Reading and writing might take a tad longer for them, but that's okay. And, of course, always be kind. A little understanding can go a long way. So there you have it, a little insight into dyslexia. Everyone's unique and faces their own challenges. Understanding and being supportive makes all the difference. Whether our friends have dyslexia or not, kindness and patience are always the way to go.